part one, in his memoir, he makes this same observation many times in his own work on the civil rights movement, anti-war movement, that it was an interracial coalition that was in some ways extremely effective at troubling the ongoing political order. And when he mentions here the white working people who declared themselves outside, there is a sense in this age of um, like anti-racist uh, action in which you, the, the white person or the white liberal is merely supposed to um, de- declare themselves guilty of privilege, and then that's that's the move. Um, on you know at least yeah. in a cartoonish yeah. sense, uh-huh. I'm being a little polemical on purpose here. That I think there's something lost in our consciousness now about the long history and one that's complicated and actually muddy and dirty and not clean of interracial relationships and interracial political relationships that's long persisted throughout our culture as we build coalitions of solidarity. I think Zen's attention to that, which at the time this book was published, maybe was less controversial than even now, that Zen's attention to that um, is still news. It's news that stayed news on a certain level, if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, totally. And it, it makes me think about um, the, this idea that Zinn is sort of responding to the 60s and 70s, because I think by 1980, with mm. uh, Reaganism you know, on the rise and the 60s... In 1980, I feel like the 60s felt like a long time ago to the left, because it was so, like there were so many like brutal defeats. But a lot of the big story of what happened to the revolutionary spirit and energy embodied by the civil rights movement and the anti-war movement and everything that happened in the 60s. A big story of that is that it fell apart over identity politics and it fell apart over you know black people and white people not being able to work together and women not being able to work with men and the sort of idea that everyone went off into their separate camps. And that had to break people like Howard Zinn's heart, who really... Um, wagered very heavily in his life that change would come uh, when people were um, together and and together and seeing um, you know their their oppression as 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 related and mutual rather than seeing themselves divided by these identity categories which he saw as very much like um, top down um, and, and coming that's from there. That's very interesting. So, so Maybe all- that's the reason why he kept theorizing them that way. Yeah. Is that he was trying to repair and undo just what you're saying. That's what I'm saying is that a people's history of the United States ends up using class as a way of suturing the the divisions that he saw tearing apart what he sh- what he wanted to continue in the 1960s and 70s, mm-hmm. which was a class based interracial uh, movement for overcoming the the problems that he saw as caused by the capitalist class. <laughs>